हेलो हाउ आर यू दिस इज दीप्ति एंड आई वेलकम यू टू द थर्ड एपिसोड ऑफ साइंस चैट डू रिमेंबर पी यू हुम वी हैड मेट इन द लास्ट एपिसोड हियर शी कम्स हाई पी यू ओ यू गॉट अ क्वेश्चन टू आस्क मी दैट्स वंडरफुल बिकॉज वेन यू लर्न साइंस यू नो द फर्स्ट एंड फॉर्मोर स्टेप इज टू फील क्यूरियस अबाउट थिंग्स एंड आस्क क्वेश्चन सो वॉट इज योर क्वेश्चन ah you want to know a statement in science which is very small in size but which contains lot of meaning all right here it goes each and everything in this universe is made up of atoms i repeat each and everything in this universe is made up of atoms when i say each and everything it includes living things such as you and me the animals the plants as and non living things such as different objects in your room say table chair and so many other things so all the living and non living things in this universe are made up of atoms what happened to you oh you don't know what atoms are no problem i'll explain it to you atom the word atom originates from a word which meant indivisible but now with modern science we know that atom is not indivisible it contains protons neutrons electrons etc in fact an atom contains a tiny nucleus at its center what's your question p u o oh, how big is an atom as compared to a nucleus an atom is around 10000 times bigger as compared to a nucleus let me make it clear mm let me give you an example okay think of a small pea or a peanut what would be its size yes that's right around 1 cm in diameter now what is the scale which is 10000 times of 1 cm correct a kilometer can you think of an object which has a diameter of around 1 km yes a playground so if the size of an atom was as much as a playground size of a nucleus would be as small as a small pea or a peanut kept at its center yes pu that's right an atom is mostly empty but you know what is interesting all the protons and neutrons in an atom are contained in that tiny bit nucleus at the center and electrons are around the nucleus protons have positive charge electrons have negative charge and neutrons have no charge now if i tell you that in an atom there are equal number of protons as well as electrons can you tell me what will be the charge on an atom correct zero just like if you add plus 5 and minus 5 it gives you zero charge on an atom is zero and it's important that we know it because we are all made up of such atoms imagine a situation had atom been charged we would have been made made up of charged particles but that's not true atom is chargeless great let us talk more next time when we meet pu bye pu so what did all of you learn correct everything in this universe is made up of atoms an atom contains a nucleus an atom is around 10000 times as big as compared to a nucleus an atom contains protons which are positively charged electrons which are negatively charged and neutrons which have no charge yes we will know many more things about atoms in our next episode 
I am glad that you are following this science chat on this YouTube channel DS. Same recitations are also available on my Facebook page titled D Creations. If anyone has a problem with the language or if you have some friends who, are, who have not started learning English yet, I also conduct the same in Marathi. It is titled Vidyan Gappa. You will be able to find Vidyan Gappa recitations on the same YouTube channel DS as well as on the same Facebook page D Creations. Alright then, let us meet in the next episode. Till then, bye.